Here are the standings before the race. Young Capi Rossi of Italy leads by just four points from the West German Stefan Prine. Both those riders on Honda, as is the third man, Hans Spahn. He is followed by Romboni, Martinez and early title leader Dirk Raudis. Two laps to go, and Prine leads Romboni and Spahn. Look out for young Capirossi. He is number 59 today. He is back in seventh place. Keith Hewitt, another fantastic 1-2-5 race. Yes, ten riders all on the go, right on the <laughs> Two laps to go for this particular race, and Stefan Prine again has shown us what he's worth on the track. He has done the business on the last two Grand Prix. He was out of it as far as Donington Park was concerned, the British Grand Prix, but has made a, a tremendous movement through the field here to be leading this race. But watch out for Ron Boney. He's looked menacing there. That's number seven, Stefan Prine, and Ron Boney get, takes a beautiful line out the right-hander to take the inside line in the left-hander. A classic move. Absolutely. Round the outside, a tremendous move by Ron Boney in front of the pits there, which are a mile away from the start, but Ron Boney leads. Number two in third place is Hans Spahn. Then number 39, Alessandro Gramini. Number 16 following him is Dirk Raudis. Down the very long back straight. And Ron Boney follow, is followed by Stefan Prine. Brian looks good there, Keith. That... Yeah, using the slipstream to the effect. It's a very long straight here at Andersdorf in Sweden. It's actually the runway for aircraft there. They take light aircraft off. This is an airfield-type track. Stefan Prine, number seven of the Black Honda. Second in the World Championship. Four points behind Loris Capirossi. And where is Capirossi? He went through in seventh. Well, look at this. This is unbelievable. We'll cross the start and finish line now. This is actually a very, very good rider's track. There's a lot of second and third gear turns here where you need to get the power on as early as you can, exit in the corner. <laughs> and we're on the last lap. This is going to end in tears. Stefan Prine worked his way through the field brilliantly to take the lead. He needs this win. He could really do with this win. It'll give him something around a five or six point lead if he holds the lead. But Doliano Romboni, number 20 in second place. We know him of old, Keith, and number two, Hans Spahn. Now, Romboni on the brakes. Lovely move. Yes, Romboni being the youngster of this group, is he's a, probably one of the younger mob, mind you. Prine is only 24 years old. He'll have this in good order at this particular part of the race. He's still got two thirds of the track to cover before he gets to the start and finish line again. So Prine's going to be looking to make some kind Kind of slipstreaming manoeuvre on the straight. <laughs> At number 39, Alessandro Grimini is uh, making his presence felt. One of the team Italia riders who we've been so, been so impressed with. Prine is well back, he's back to fourth. Yes, well, everybody's pulling out the stops now. Ron bone has got a great lead. He's going on to the back straight now, the fastest part of the course. He'll want to apply the power as early as he can onto this straight to try and break any slipstream that somebody might have behind him. Prine is making a move straight out of the slipstream there in fourth place. But Romboni and Spahn at the front. Romboni leads. Number two, Hans Spahn is second. There is Prine dicing for third with Stadler. This is the end of the straight for the last time. Oh, dear. And that's Romboni on the... No, it's P Spahn on the outside and Romboni... Oh, and he's got his Romboni foot down in the, the dirt. Grass. Romboni's in the dirt. Hans Spahn's got away. Grimini comes through to take second. Well, Romboni was lucky to get away with that. Spahn is going to take the win. Spahn wins. Then Grimini. Romboni holds on to third. Looks like Prime fourth. Oh, Stefan Prime lost a lot of ground in those last couple of laps. That will have done his championship chances not a lot of good. Hans Spahn is utterly delighted, utterly delighted. Doriano Romboni doesn't seem overly bothered by having to, <laughs> having to settle for third place. Oh. Yes, quite right too, Hans. That, that was the incident that won Hans Spahn the race. As confirmed there, he took the chequered flag by just under a second from Alessandro Gramini, Romboni third. Stefan Prine did in fact take fourth place. And good news there for Steve Patrickson, he got 13th, Robin Appleyard 15th. Two point scorers from the British lads, that's nice to see.